So, I'm going to show you how to tie a cinch knot. You can use this to tie a swivel or a hook to your fishing line. The yarn needle is the hook in this, or swivel, and the yarn is your fishing line. And I'm using this for demonstrative purposes, hopefully so you can see better what I'm doing. So you run your fishing line through your swivel or your hook, and you bring enough through so that you can grasp the free end. And you hold on to your line that goes to your reel, and try to keep it stationary, and you wrap the free end around the line that goes to your reel. And you do this several times. I usually do eight to 10 wraps. And when you're done wrapping, you go back up to your hook or your swivel, and there's a loop at the end of it. You take your line and you bring it up through the loop that the line has created underneath the hook or the swivel. And before you cinch this up, you want to wet the line because if you don't and pull this while it's dry, it's actually going to create enough friction to create a little bit of heat, which will weaken the line and uh, create a weak knot, which could cause you to lose your lure while casting, or even worse, lose a fish when they're on the hook. So you wet that, and then you just pull up. And this doesn't demonstrate very well what that knot will look like. Actually, that's not a bad representation. And if you've done your knot correctly, it will resemble this. Um, where it looks like the line is wrapped around the main line and the knot is just several wraps of the line stacked up on top of each other.